On March 16, 1982, Carrie Ann Jopek disappears skipping school to attend a party at a neighbor's house. A vibrant young girl just 13 years old vanishes without a trace. The community is left in shock, a family in despair. Some thought she had run away from home, but her badly decomposed remains were found buried under a porch at the party house 17 months later by a carpenter doing remodeling work. But who was responsible, you might ask? The answer, a classmate, Jose Ferreira Jr., a supposed friend, Ferreira had long been among the suspects. Who confessed three decades later? Ferreira said he pushed Joe Peck and she tumbled down the steps. When he found her unconscious he realized her neck was broken. The current medical examiner, after reviewing the 1983 autopsy, concluded a neck injury to Joe Peck was more likely the result of being struck from behind with a heavy object. Ferreira receives the maximum five years on the attempted sex assault and two years on the false imprisonment. This the story of Carrie Ann Jopek, a name we should never forget.